what are the paradigms? What is the conversations we're telling ourselves, right? It's not true. It's a lie. You are powerful beyond measure. You, when you set Definitely. up yourself to win, oh my God, there's nobody that can stop you. Only you can stop you. Welcome to the Entrepreneur's Trip Podcast with XTC. I'm Shalanda. I'm Tristan. And I'm Chris. As an entrepreneur starting or growing your business, you may have a destination, but the journey getting there can be a trip. We want to be your travel companions and inject a dose of XTC as we explore real life conversations about navigating the world of entrepreneurship in the US and the Caribbean. Come take this trip with us. Chris is always laughing over my intros. Shalana just always smiling. Look at Brenda. Brenda's caught between the two of them. She's smiling, want to laugh, head nodding, like, what the hell is going on? No, it's Damn. fun. It's fun. <laughs> so welcome to another episode of the Entrepreneur's Trip, where we have Shalana. I'm Tristan. That's my homeboy, Chris. But we got Brenda over here. And we Ooh. were speaking, to, uh, I want to say, last week, and everything was getting just a little rough. And Brenda was like, you know, she might, I don't want to call her Bariko. I'm not sure if she's Puerto Rican or not. But, but it was like, you know, I, I just love how she talks. She just came off and like, Whurr. and I was like, yo, Brenda, that's a lot of information. That's a lot of information. But Brenda burns bright with passion. Her favorite color got to be red. And she styles, she styles, look, look at it. She made sure the bookshelf is there. She talked about how she got like, you know, in her coaching, there's a lot of people that wrote books. Is about the results. I'm pretty sure somewhere on that shelf, there's got to be a book by Shalana, maybe her dissertation or something. I'm not <laughs> sure how this. Soon. 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 It's it. coming. Coming soon. <laughs> yes. So I just want to tell you guys and welcome you guys to another episode of Entrepreneur Trip. Brenda got on her red bottoms. That's what you wear, right? I'm not even going right. to ask you to show up because right. she's. <laughs> you see how we do this? I need a drink. Chris. Let's go over to what we sipping while we tripping. Let's do it. So Brenda, what does a lady in white, not even a lady in red. Oh, there we go. Brenda, I got to give it to you. I, we got to hit that clap button. I want to clap it off for Brenda. You bring the heat. You know what you did, Brenda. You know what you did right now. You're so phenomenal. I never seen Chris finish a bottle of, or, or glass of anything on the show. And you just, Chris just finished it. There's a very Chris good reason for that, talking. Tristan. I got the bottle right here. <laughs> <laughs> we need to give him a red bottle. We need yeah, to we make sure his bottle. Damn. And <laughs> here we are again. <laughs> oh my God. Right, so we hear what we sip while we. That's what I said. So I know you do, you might just be just a little big deal, you know what I mean? So, so what's in your cup today? That's right. I have the, I'm kind of a big deal cup with some coffee in there with an, and cinnamon. And Ooh. yes, a big glass of water right here. A big bottle of water to wash it down. Uh, mm. The coffee with I almost the spice, got you on that like triple it. trip. <laughs> I almost got you the triple trip. Uh -huh. So I don't know what you got for me today. Listen, uh, Brenda is dropping some nuggets and I need clarity. I need presence of mind. I need to be totally present. So no libation today, no caffeination today, just hydration. <laughs> All right. So in the wise words of I don't know who, but I was told a great leader has to know when to follow. Right? Mm -hmm. So big sis, I'm going to follow in your footsteps and go with some H2O today. Good. <laughs> I'm a sip slow. I'm a sip slow and take it all in because, um, Brenda, I really want to unpack with you. I got a little taste of some of the businesses you got, but I really want to get from how it is you got from your start. And you said that you had a studio. I didn't ask what type of studio. I just felt like it was an art studio or something because I feel like as we grow, <laughs> our business grows. So I want to say. When you first start, you're probably making that quick, dirty money. We got that little project that we're working. We put in a lot of time. We kind of grow through it. But as we start to escalate, our money starts to work for us. So when you said you had a studio, I assumed it was like an art studio or something like that. But let's unpack a little bit. Yeah. Absolutely. 
All right, people. So Tristan kind of hinted a little bit to this passionate red that Brenda is bringing to the table as she sports mm. her red bottom Louis Vuittons. <laughs> and the reason I, I, I emphasize that is because Brenda L. Cotto emulates how a next level woman lives if a woman can have a next level mindset mm, make yep. next level commitment and create next level action it will ultimately mm. result in next level living mm. Ooh. damn, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Brenda, I love when we collaborate. Bringing it, I'm loving this conversation. Brenda is a chairwoman of multiple businesses like Entrepreneur Ahead LLC. So isn't it fitting that she's joining us here on the Entrepreneur? Dad, quiet. Show? And she has Brenda L. Cotto Studios and Brenda L. Cotto Coaching. She's doing master classes. She has an academy. She has an art studio. This is a Renaissance woman. Thank That's you. taking everything to the next level. So let's learn more about what you up to. Because I'm sure there are entrepreneurs <laughs> listening that are trying to figure out, how do I up my game? How do mm -hmm. I take it to the next level like Brenda? I Thank just want to buy some red bottoms for somebody. <laughs> you can buy them for me. <laughs> 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 wow this is good this is really awesome and, and that's my goal my goal is to impact influence and inspire women in this space to be the better version that is waiting to come out that is mm. waiting to come out sometimes us ladies and guys you're not excluded but we we're playing we're playing too low we're playing you know like yeah. you know you know where where we don't want to rock the boat because we don't want to have the the how we call the tomatoes thrown on in our face or we'll be judged what i want i want to throw I want you guys to like, shake that boat and get everybody out the boat and become that be better version of yourself for the ladies, especially. I love this quote and I'll, I'll unpack a little bit more, but don't wish for it to be easy. Wish you were better, mm. right? Mm. Don't, don't wish for it, for it to be easy. It's never going to be easy. Um, but I love to say, yes, um, as, as you mentioned, all those businesses, um, they all come from a coaching perspective, right? So we started with the life. I started with my life coaching and, and in business, I started with business. That's what I knew. So um, there's different aspects of it. Like entrepreneurs, I had LLC. What I do, I help entrepreneurs, women especially that want to start their businesses, but they don't know where to start. And we start, we, we end up breaking it down. Okay, what is it you want? What are your skills? Uh, like, do you have money set aside for this, for this vision or this dream that you have? Right. Um, and then apart from that, we break it down so you can get what traction. So you can get what momentum. So you can get what paid. Hello. Mm -hmm. It's about getting paid. Right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, many women in terms of entrepreneur, entrepreneurship don't know where to start. They really don't. They really don't. Mm -hmm. Um, they, they maybe they would bake cookies or they would do some kind of like maybe cleaning once in a while. And, and we're talking about all kinds of different businesses from, from, I mean, I have CEOs of multiple figure income, you know, businesses that started and they weren't that to now just women that are saying, wow, this is awesome. And I'm so glad I came and I did this Academy. Um, the next one, I, I, I don't know if I put it there is the unstoppable confidence Academy. Um, that mm -hmm. other one, Listen, we need confidence to get out here. We need confidence yeah. to start that next business, to 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 knock on that next door that is going to allow us to come on in and you know make help us to fund our company or our businesses or our dreams. So, you know, I help women with that as well in terms of unstoppable confidence. And I break it down because it's not to look good, it's to be good. Mm. Be good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, she that's got a high five me right now. <laughs> I was with you. It's to be good. And that's a thing from inside. We can have success. Guys, listen to this clear clarity for a little bit. Sometimes mm. it's not sustainable because the confidence is lacking. Mm. So that is the thing that when it's not working, are you still high? Yeah. Is your mm. level still high? 
if it's working, mm -hmm. are you, are you, ha okay, great. Everybody's happy when it's working, but when it's not working, are you going to get dust off and yep. get back up and go again? Right? Yeah. Until I have the saying that it says, until that fat lady sings, I won't stop. Yep. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I mean, for, 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 for words, I mean, and you know what I'm talking about? You gotta mm -hmm. be resilient. You've gotta be like, listen, this dream is going to get done. And that unstoppable confidence Academy helps us and helps a lot of the ladies, especially break down. What are the paradigms? What is the conversations mm -hmm. we're telling ourselves? Right. It's not true. It's a lie. You are powerful beyond measure. You, when you set Definitely. up yourself to win, Oh my God, there's nobody that can stop you. Only you could stop you. So, you know, mm -hmm. we, we tend to kind of like silence those voices and reprogram our mind with the, with the correct, um, how would I say the correct programs? Because these programs yeah. are, are up here. Tell us who's going to listen to you. Oh my goodness. Uh, you, you know, you don't even want to college. You have people who cares. Let me tell you, I, I know a lot of people with a lot of, of education that are very broke. And I'm pretty sure you know mm -hmm. some of them as well. I, I do know some yep. that have a lot of education and they're all doing okay. It's not about the education. It's about if you believe. It's up here. Mm -hmm. It's up here, right? Mm -hmm. And if we can get here, that's what those academies, they do. They literally build the man from the inside so you can build the business mm -hmm. on the outside. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. What else? What else so you guys want to hear? Because I know we have the Live Life Large Academy. Now, this one blows my mind. Because you guys got to do, you know what it is to live large? All areas. Yes, you can all handle areas. it. All areas. All areas. Emotionally, spiritually, financially, physically. All areas. You can have it all, but you've got to give yourself the permission to dream. You know mm -hmm. how many people, hurt? it hurts for them to dream because they've been so disappointed at times. Well, no more. Live Life Large Academy teaches you how to dream big. We do dream boards. We, we listen, we, we, we dream so big that it scares us. It gives us goosebumps. goosebumps. And that's how mm -hmm. we, explain yeah. that to me though. Talk to me. Which one? That, that we're afraid to dream. Um, I, I think that's a crazy concept or maybe because we're all entrepreneurs and that's just it. Like, like, how how are you like how are people afraid to to dream like if you could give me an example of that or kind of break it down for me sure they're afraid to dream because people don't like to be disappointed mm -hmm. and this mm -hmm. is a part of of a visual as an artist yes um and i just to mention and answer your question my uh, my studio is an art studio so i'm a painter i have a couple of things at the museum i have sold big pieces all around the world i have collectors all over the place our mind is a canvas, literally. Mm -hmm. and, and we got to learn to paint the right pictures. And a lot of people are afraid to dream big because they don't want to be judged. They don't want to be seen as um, selfish. They don't want to be seen as like materialistic and all this is which I don't care because I'll be like, <laughs> we are going to flush those thinking programs today. And I want you to think big because listen, guys, listen. We cannot feed anybody with an empty plate. I'm sorry. Correct. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. It, it just cannot happen. And many people want to, they want to, they want to, they want to fund shelters. They want to fund charities, but they're broke. And we got to break that thought process. And again, yes, I think Shalanda just came back from one of those awesome trips. I don't even know. Was it Spain? Was it Spain? It was Greece. Greece. We went yeah. to Greece. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. I, why did it? Why did you even invite me? I don't know. I was like, oh, Girl, don't next time I'm going to let you know we're going again. We're going again. <laughs> right. And, and, and thank you. And I, and I will be there in your suitcase. I, even if you could fold me in, I'll, I'll make sure I lose a few extra pounds. Right. But dreaming hurts a lot of people because they don't want to be disappointed. We got to get rid of the disappointment and go for our dreams. We were born to be great, honestly. And, and society well, well, sometimes turn, try and turn you off because it's like, why do you want to, why do you want to get that big company for? Why do you want to do this thing for? And, and we tend to settle and, and in that settling guys, there's no, that's no fun. Cause you will feel like something is unfinished on the inside of you. Ooh, you'll be like, oh my goodness. I'm going to tell you. And this is how I, I help people. L last time they help you pay your, your bills. Who, who did they help you pay your bills? And the answer is no, no. They, they actually asking me to borrow money. Exactly. 
go mm -hmm. chase your dreams because right. honestly at the end of it it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter it's it, what matters is that you reach your destiny mm. brenda dropping those coins <laughs> Last I am in take us on a yeah no no i mean Tris, Tris, and take us on a detour <laughs> <laughs> no it's just like so unbelievable i mean we're two seasons in our i haven't counted the conversations how many episodes we've done but it to me it's just like crazy that i feel like it's almost like having the same conversation all the time but just like different perspectives is what makes it so so holistic um we spoke about fears um not starting chris gave us a, a great quote um some time ago um i can't remember it was something about like um it's almost like not taking a step um something with doubt and in my mind that's what it is that kind of resonates a lot of time we talk ourselves out of projects or talk ourselves out of things before we even start so it's like it uh, that won't work but and even in this conversation with brenda like it's when she like when she said like the the dream like that really just blew my mind like like how could you not want to dream like how could we not have dreams how could we not aspire for that something more um so that's that to me was just like the mind like it it, it really messed with me because I'm like damn like like now I've taken it for granted but granted because like I guess is is a privilege like like we do it so often so it's like not even something that we think about. Um, we started businesses, I want to say just because we could start businesses and kind of care less if they work, if they fail, because we know it's not the end of the world. And, and that's just it. I think our satisfaction comes from knowing that we tried, we did it. And if it didn't work, all right, we learned whatever lesson it is. But at the same time, it's like, like just that, that balance. And I, like, I'm just really mind blown. And Chris gave us the, the comment about, um, that doubt, I was like, damn, like, not started. Brenda spoke to about going to the grave with your on top, um, yeah, your on top talent. And I remember hearing, um, I think there's like a motivational speech about something like that, and just taking our gifts, our, our treasures, and not ever applying it to life. Like, I just find that really, really crazy. Like, sometimes I wake up and I just can't believe, like. We didn't do something in that kind of way. Can I challenge you a little bit on this detour? Oh, no, 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 please. <laughs> I tend to agree with when um, Brenda says people are afraid to dream. Mm -hmm. And I do agree with you that as entrepreneurs, we think of something and we tend to create it, even if we know it's not going to be successful. But the perspective that I like to bring to the conversation is even as entrepreneurs, when we take that leap of faith and say we're going to start a business, sometimes we dream too small mm. because it's comfortable. Yeah. yeah. And I think what I hear, what I'm hearing with just the way Brenda is speaking and and her philosophy is dream big, dream bigger, take it to the next level. Like I think as entrepreneurs, especially those of us who, to Brenda's point, are creating businesses on very limited resources, we we dream as big as we think the resources will take us. But sometimes right. it's the mentality of dreaming big and the resources will come. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. So, yeah, that's the detour. The detour is, yeah, we dream, but we have to dream beyond the resources that we can see presently. It's almost like trusting the process and having faith that the universe god or whatever is going to support that dream no matter how big it is yes mm. i totally agree I'm, i mean and the thing is when you do step out you become magnetic you're going to bring about that that thing you really do it's a matter of just time and you're not giving up so that detour is really good i love this yeah it's taking some souvenirs <laughs> mm. okay. So I thought we collaborate and delegate. You, you, you just, you just loving that, right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs>
All righty. As far as souvenirs that I can extract from this amazing, co- let me just let me just ask you guys, as if Brenda's not in the room. <laughs> so aren't you guys feeling like totally motivated and inspired to like go tackle your business in a new way? Like the energy she is bringing. I yep. hope our listeners are feeling it because it's like. Talk about motivation. I think there was probably a period of time where all three of us just sat and just listened to her. Yep. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> We're like sponges. You know, let's soak this all, all in because you're right. You're right. A lot of it is mindset. Yep. It's mindset. And unfortunately, because we live on a small island, sometimes our mindset becomes limited. Yes. Right? And so it's really that next level thinking is that dreaming. But the other souvenir that I want (laughs) is from you, Tristan, because we keep having a little person on the side (laughs) pop into the screen. (laughs) And it's like he wants to join the conversation and we keep talking about generational wealth and helping our kids understand about being entrepreneurs. So he's watching you do this episode. He's probably listening. (laughs) A a little nervous to to say hi, but that's okay. This is what it's all about. It's about legacy. And um, Mm -hmm. everything you guys are doing is for your legacy. It's for the kids that are coming uh, that you have and their children's children. So again, the dream is important. Push yourselves. I push myself every day. When I don't feel like it, I say, I I don't have to feel it. You have to do it because we have little eyes watching us. Good job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) And that's all part of being an entrepreneur, right? And in the last episode, we are mothers, we're fathers, we're family members, right? We're caretakers, we're entrepreneurs, business owners, we're leaders, we're part of a community, right? And our village really helps to nurture us, but we also have to give back to our village to start building this generational wealth. So that's that's my takeaway. And we have to be the best we can be (laughs) to be able to do what we need to do. And yeah. I'll, I'll actually uh, chime in here um, with, uh, so I uh, became a father a little um, under a year and a half ago um, mm-hmm. and had been running my uh, own business, still running my own business, um, recently uh, moved up to Massachusetts and with all that, you know, financial struggles of, of doing that and trying to get settled, real estate market is nuts. Um, I have uh, taken another job um, in addition to the job I'm doing, but I think a lot of that actually came out of um, that need for like comfort or security for my family and stuff like that. But after listening to you, Brenda, I'm kind of like, you know, maybe um, not that I'm doing the wrong thing and, uh, um, you know, pursuing multiple avenues of, of uh, finding monetary income and stuff like that. But uh, as far as like trying to be like the more protective, so I'm doing the safe route as opposed to actually um, – what I believe is the right thing to do, which is actually go out further and fight harder to, um, you know, uh, do the things that I'm passionate about because my daughter is watching me and she's not going to want to see, um, you know, the person that, uh, took the safe route. She's going to want to see the person that, uh, went for it. So. It's all next level living. Now let's, uh, take the view. All right, so I uh, got another two quotes prepared here. Um, this one is uh, Nelson Mandela, uh, and this is kind of talking about that fear. So the brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. Mm. And then the second quote um, here is a Henry Ford quote, uh, which is whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Brenda, any and uh, gut reactions on that? Yeah, it's all about your beliefs. It's about our beliefs, right? If we believe we can, it's absolutely our mind does not know the difference. If we believe we can, we can, and that's why we gotta prove it every single day by taking risks. We gotta go out there and push ourselves. Um, 
you will, will be so surprised how much you're going to get done when you push yourself and you don't stay in the comfort zone. Um, and the, I wonder what would happen if I do. No, we're going to, we're going to test it out. We're going to go out there and we're going to put ourselves mm -hmm. out there. We're going to come, we're going to show up with a smile, you know, we're going to show up, we're going to stretch our hand. We're going to shake hands. Um, you know what? And we're going to go again until, because you know what you, you're building that confidence that you can do what you say you're going to do. Every time you keep your word, you become a stronger, more powerful person. So even that I'll say in business, don't right. let yourself off the hook. If you say you're going to do something, follow through, mm. follow through. Whether you, <laughs> I, I love to say, it doesn't matter if your legs are shaking and your voice is cracking, you get your butt out there and get that done. Because you know what? Eventually, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. That, that, that means you're, you're leaving your old part, your, your old self behind, and you're becoming this new person, this person mm. that honestly, yeah, you're going to be a force to be reckoned with. I love those, those quotes. Those were so awesome. Awesome. I just have to share something. It's it's slightly off topic, but it is on topic. And it just to reinforce, give you an example of what Brenna was talking about. Um, some of you guys are aware that I was just featured in the Voyage Minnesota article. Ooh. Yes. And as an introvert, oh, I hold did on, hold on, hold on, hold <laughs> on. Now continue. <laughs> As an introvert, I did not want to do it. I was like, I don't have anything to share. I don't have anything to say. And I have to say that even doing this podcast and coming out a little bit and talking and sharing different perspectives, right? That I went ahead and I did the article because I could have I could have declined. I went mm -hmm. ahead and I did it. And the feedback that I've been getting because I conquered that fear to Brenda's point has built my confidence. Mm. All right. So step out of the comfort zone. Yeah. Confront those fears and try something new. And let's just level up, man. Level it up. Level up. Level up. Introverts <laughs> unite. Exactly. <laughs> That's me. Introverts uh, unite. Here. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> Brenda, shameless plug. Where can uh, our listeners find you? They can actually get on uh, LinkedIn, Brenda El Coto, or even uh, official under Brenda El Coto. I, we'll, we'll put it there somewhere. <laughs> but I have a couple. Brenda El Coto Coaching, Brenda El Coto Studios. You'll find me with my, my name. Love it. Mm -hmm. Well, thank awesome. you so much uh, for joining us um, here on the second episode now of part two. Um, and, you know, just dropping your wisdom here. Uh, I've certainly been inspired, and I think I... My fellow uh, podcasters here have been inspired as well. And um, yeah, let's all uh, level up, trippers. We, no more excuses. <laughs> let's make those Benjamins. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> all right. See you next week when we uh, drop some more knowledge on you with our uh, amazing guests like Brenda. And uh, yeah, keep tripping, keep working at it, and, and, and get out there and do it. Yep. Yes. Right. yes. See you next week. See ya. Thank you for taking this trip with us. We hope you had a great time. Join us every Tuesday for another dose of XTC. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and visit us at theentrepreneurstrip.com for more entrepreneurship tips and tricks. See you next time.